Hello, this is Hakadabeen, and today we are going to SCP-247, also known as a harmless cat. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. If my computer will stop lagging. Hmm. Item number SCP-247, Object Class Euclid. Special Containing Procedures. SCP-247 is to be kept in an enclosure of at least 20 by 40 meters. Burnt is based on the plans provided by the Redacted Zoo and lined with SCP-148 offset. From the rest of sites, blank by at least 50 meters. in order to mitigate its psychic effect. As per current containment procedure is for SCP-148, it's used in containment of other SCPs as avoided it if at all possible. O5 Redacted SCP-247 is to be fed 18 kilograms of fresh meat on a tri-weekly basis. Feeding occurs in a separate enclosure. Cleaning staff should enter the enclosure only during designated feeding times. No other access to the enclosure is allowed. The footage resulting from any violation of this order is to be archived for use in training in the cleaning monitoring staff of SCP-247. In case of a container breach, the entire wing must be evacuated and all live footage of the incident heavily censored. The area SCP-247 occupies will be sealed off in gas, followed by the return of SCP-247 to containment. If for any reason this should become impossible, a retrieval team will be sent in armed with heavy tranquilizer rifles. Retrieval team agents must be must be specially selected for high reflexes, excellent marksmanship, unquestioning obedience, and low empathy scores. Description: SCP-247 is a Bengal tiger, Panthera a tigris tigris adult female, which to all observers appears to be a harmless cat. Felis cacti catus, juvenile of female. That is a why with an orange-black striped coat, resembling that of a tiger. Remote, remote feeds and still photos also show this illusion, although it is unknown whether the photo itself is affected or merely the observer. SCP-247's true nature has been confirmed by analysis of weight, water displacement, and dental molds made from bite marks. It is unknown exactly how SCP-247 generates this illusion. There are two components to the illusion, a magic fact that changes the perceived image of SCP-247 to that of a kitten, and second, a psychic component which radiates outward from the subject, diminishing according to the inverse square law and reaching half strength at at redacted meters. Any sentient being within this field comes under the impression that SCP-247 is completely harmless, regardless of prior knowledge or experience. Individuals in this field would also show extreme reluctance to harm or allow others to harm SCP-247. Even while being actively harmed by the subject. This psychic field can be blocked with SCP-148 or avoided by striking from um, well outside its effective range. The mimetic effect is not blocked by SCP-148 as of yet. No one has been able to see SCP-247 as anything but a small striped cat. Typically, SCP-247 will begin to purr or mew when approached by a human. The human will remark that this is adorable and approach to pet the subject. This has been observed even in persons who strongly dislike cats. SCP-247 has been known to accept affection from its victims or for upwards of 7 minutes before disemboweling and devouring them. Genetic analysis throws slight deviation from a typical Bengal type or is genial type, indicating possible contamination. Data expunged. All further breeding experiments require O5 level approval. The resulting hybrids have been and designated SCP-247-1. See experiment and log 247A14 for more details. I don't want to, but I have to now. Addendum 247A, a series of tests in exposing SCP-247 and the control subjects to various non-human animals. Control testing took place in exact 
replica of SCP-247 is in closure. Control A is a yellow kitten matching SCP-247 and its apparent size and age. Control B is a fully grown Bengal tiger matching 247's actual weight. Experiment Log 247A01 Test Subject A mixed breed dog, mostly terror, a known cat chaser. Control Test A So we're going to begin and barking and ran out to control, which retreated up a nearby tree. Control Test B So the coward in the corner as far from the control as possible. Control took no notice of the subject. Results. Subject ran through or the SCP-247 walking loudly. After approximately 5 meters away, subject slowed to a halt and became silent. At this point, SCP-247 rolled over and made a mewing sound, believed to be a sign of annoyance. The subject retreated to a far corner of the enclosure with its tail between its legs. Notes. That was extremely odd. Further testing recommended. Researcher or er, er, Sam. Approved. O5 redacted. Experiment and blog 247A O2I II. I don't know what that means, but okay. Date sometime in 2010. Test subject a male Otavi kitten with the same apparent age as 247. Control test A. So to play with the control in the manner expected of kittens. Control test B. Subject climbs a tree and attempts to hide itself from the control, displaying visible signs of terror. Results. Test I. Subject approached 247 mute. 247 responded in kind and played with the tabby kitten. His own footage is extremely odd. At one point, 247 lifts the subject, which appears to be the same size as, two, as SCP 247 with a single forepaw. While at another point, SV-247 lifts the subject with its mouth, clearly showing that its mouth is much larger than it appears to be. The leading researcher characterizes it as adorable and why it gave him a headache due to a faulty recall order. This test has to be repeated. Results. Test 2. Subject approached 247 as above. 247 made a deep hurry sound analogous to growl. Subject reacted as in control test B. Notes. This seems to indicate 247 has some degree of conscious control over its apparent and appearance from Sam again. Experiment log 247A3. Test subject. An adult male deer, a normal prey animal for a Bengal tiger. Control B and SP-247 were not fed for three days prior to this experiment. Control tests A. Subject grazed. Control fell asleep two minutes into the experiment. Control test B. Control attacked. Killed and devoured subject, which behaved normally for a deer trapped in an enclosed space with a large predator. Results. So I began grazing it as in control test A. SCP-247 approached Omelie and killed it with a single bite to the neck, then proceeded to devour the subject. Test was repeated without 247 being forced to fast. SCP-247 completely ignored the subject for over a day before apparently becoming hungry and killing it. Again, it was a single bite to the neck. Notes. SCP-247 seems to prefer humans, both as food and for entertainment. Other prey animals presented to SCP-247 were all killed in a single strike. While humans are invariably allowed to pet the SCP for some time before being killed and are sometimes mauled and played with the way a cat will play with a mouse. Furthermore, the SCP has killed every human as I had the opportunity to kill, regardless of, of hunger. Interesting note, Sam.
Experiment log 247808. Test subject is an adult female chimpanzee. Control test A. Subject and control ignored one another. Control test B. Subject retreated to a tree, showing some signs of unease. Control displayed some curi curiosity towards the subject, but did not attack. Results. Subject approached 247, made noises identified as age of affection, and began to groom SCP-247. SCP-247 allowed the subject to groom it for over an hour, then messily killed and devoured it. Now, this seems to be its typical reaction to unfamiliar prey animals. It seems to prefer its prey on apes with advanced social behavior. Experiments with gorillas and other social apes have shown similar results. I'm surprised the gorilla what, uh, is easily devoured by this, this thing. Essentially, SCP-247 is a large predator that has somehow adapted to take advantage of the largest available food source, humans. We should investigate all future reports of man-eating tigers in case there are more of these things. Researchers am. Experiment log 247A12. Test subject, an adult female grizzly bear. Control or test A. Control flit up a tree in terror. Subject ignored it. Control test B. Subject and control acted nervously and gave one another as large a birth as possible. Control test results. Initially, subject and 247 ignored one another. At one point, subject came very close to SCP-247, resulting in SCP-247 giving a warning for out. Oh, subject responded with hostility. Tests are already due to possible harm to SCP-247. Subject tranquilized by Foundation personnel and subsequently killed by SCP-247. Note, further tests involving animals potentially capable of killing or injuring a Bengal tiger are cancelled. Experiment log 247A13. Test subject, an adult female Bengal tiger. Control test A. Control flare up a tree in terror. Subject ignored it. Control test B. Subject and control agree one another. Subject order of social dominance, then both fell asleep. Results, identical to control test B. Notes, interestingly, SCP-247 was the beta animal in this interaction. Researcher Sam. Experiment log 247A14. Test subject, an adult male Bengal tiger. Control or test A, control flight of a tree in terror, subject ignored it. Control test B, a beta record of normal Bengal or tiger mating behavior substituted. Results, as suspected based on control B, that expunged. Notes, researcher Sam has been removed from this project or lacks security in his experiments. Although, in light of his injuries, further dis disciplinary measures have de been deemed unnecessary. Data expunge, which seems, seems to have benefited from a form of hybrid ed ed vigor, has been designated SCP-247-1. Considering that SCP-247 is likely to have bred naturally in the wild, the global task force uh, IOTA-5, Tiger Bait, has been formed and assigned to hunt down and contain and or destroy all instances of the hybrid SCP-2471. O5 redacted. Well, that was SCP-247. I'm trying to make this video an MP4. The last ones were MP MKVs, so... 
if, the, if I have to record this again, and you'll have, you'll know. Oh, why? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!